Hello, my name is Thomas Braun. I am the head of the customer support orthodontics department at Stentaurum. I want to show you the spot welding unit Assistant 3000 and how to work with it. The Assistant 3000 is one of three spot welding units that our home offers. The operating comfort, the output and the welding power all increase from the Junior 3000 model to the Assistant model and to the Master 3000. So the Assistant 3000 stands in the middle between the two other units. All three units can not only spot weld work pieces together, they can also solder them together. During the spot welding process, the flow of energy goes from one electrode to another in an impulse, while the surface of the work pieces in between melt according to their electric resistance. In the soldering mode, the unit gives a constant flow of energy through the copper electrode and the carbon electrode. The carbon heats up based on its electric resistance and the heat transfers to the workpiece. The assistant has six levels of welding power, two levels of soldering power and the so-called continuous mode for soldering. But I tell you more on that later on. So let's have a look at the assistant. These are the upper and lower click stop electrode holders you normally use for welding or soldering on the unit. As an alternative, you can also use hand electrodes. This is the mode for welding. With the two arrow buttons, you can reduce or increase the welding power. With the LEDs, you can check which function has been selected and which power level has been set. These are the two buttons for soldering. Level 1 and level 2 means more or less power. This is the continuous mode. You can switch on while soldering with level 1 or 2. If you switch on the continuous mode, in addition to the Soldering levels, you press the manual button once, that's this one, and the function starts and if you press it again, it will stop. Otherwise, you have to keep on pressing the button or the foot switch. Speaking of which, this is the foot switch. You can use for soldering and welding. You can plug it in here and you can just use it or not, but anyway you don't need to flick a switch to choose between the manual button on the unit or the foot switch. This is the main switch, the power plug, and this is the fuse. Now the hand electrodes. Like with the two click stop electrodes, you always have to close the electric circuit, so you need two of them. You have to plug them in on the back side of the unit here. And if you have these holders on each side, you can put them away. Now the choice of the electrodes. For spot welding on the unit, you can choose among three copper electrodes on the upper side and four on the lower. Use the combination that fits with the workpiece. For example, a small attachment needs a small electrode and a wire, sometimes a groove in the electrode and so on. For soldering, you always need a carbon electrode. So this can be a combination for soldering. And it's the same with the hand electrodes. Copper and copper for welding, copper or clamping electrode in combination with carbon for soldering. 
Now I want to give you a short demonstration on how to use the unit. If you work with the unit, wear glasses to protect your eyes against the flying sparks. Spot welding attachment on band, switch on the welding function, go up with the power. For attachment on band, normally three or four should be enough. Choose the right electrode combination. And here we go. A good welding spot lives from the pressure on the workpiece. Normally the spring inside takes care of the right fixation. Multiple welding on one point usually does not improve the quality of the welding spot. If there is enough space, apply single spots on several locations. That makes the joint more stable. Spot welding on wire. This is Remaloy 0.9 mm wire. Again, I choose the right electrode combination. I can use the foot switch or the manual button. Now soldering. Switch on the soldering function. Very often level 1 is the right choice. Now I need the carbon electrode. Put the welded wire in. Put some flux on it or use a solder with flux inside. In this case I use silver solder with integrated flux. spot welding on a model. First, and very important, check if the click stop electrodes are separated or not. If the upper and lower electrodes have contact, it will take energy from the hand electrodes. So I will turn them to avoid contact. Now again, switch on the welding mode. To fix the work pieces, 3 to 4 is enough. Then I put the copper electrodes in the handpiece. Turn the ring to fix them. Now I grab the wire with one of these screws and the tip of the electrode. The other electrode I put near the wire on the band to close the electric circuit. This time I use the foot switch because I need both of my hands. Now soldering on a model. Some dental technicians do their soldering on the working model. If you do so, it can be helpful to use the clamping electrode. Now switch on the soldering mode and prepare the solder. If you need to have flux on the wire, for example if it's not in the solder, you should place the carbon on an exposed area. Then press the foot switch and stay in contact with the wire and move the carbon near the soldering spot. Of course all solder works I show you need the usual finishing. Now that was the main use of the unit, other functions you can find in the instruction for use. If you work with the unit, please follow this instruction for use. The instruction for use come with every unit, otherwise you can also find them on our website www.dentaurum.com. Thank you, goodbye.